Hi, how's it going? Welcome to my very first video book review on my channel. We're going to be talking about Eisenhower in War and Peace by John Edward Smith. What is this book about? It's a biography of President, a former U.S. President, Dwight D. Eisenhower. It covers him from the time he was born in the 1800s to the time he died in the 1960s, I believe. In mid to late 1960s, I believe. And everything in between. You know, it covers his war history, covers his presidential history, covers the time when he was in the military up to World War II. All that jazz. It's a very good book. So what's my background going into this? I've known a little bit about Eisenhower. I'm a huge World War II fanatic. Love reading about it. Love reading history. So I've known about Eisenhower through my studies in that respect. But I didn't really know a whole heck of a lot of Eisenhower's political uh, knowledge and, and everything of that sort. Or his upbringing. I did know uh, a little bit about Eisenhower as president. I, in fact, I even wrote a, a paper in high school. Paper in college, excuse me about Eisenhower's presidential term and included that military industrial complex speech that he was he's kind of famous for. I don't know if a lot of people know about it. But other than that I really didn't have a whole lot of knowledge about Eisenhower. So what did I get out of this book? I got a ton out of it. This is just this is just a phenomenal book. That's why I picked it for my very first video book review is I really, really love this book. I got a whole bunch out of it. I got stuff on leadership out of it. I got a, a bunch of cool anecdotes out of it. I got stuff on uh, like politics and, and man outmaneuvering against your enemies. I got stuff on career advancement. whole bunch of great, great life lessons, really. And a lot about life, too. Great, uh, great book in that respect. Tons of good stuff out of it. Let me give you a couple examples. And you can see that the way that I read my books is... As I'm reading and I find something that's interesting to me, might be just an interesting anecdote, cool quote, whatever, I have highlighters with, my, with me as I'm reading. I highlight the passage, maybe write a couple little uh, notes in the margin and, and I'll sticky note it. I'll come back to it after I'm done reading it and uh, usually a couple weeks, maybe a month or so. And I'll take the notes out of it and I categorize those notes according to uh, theme or subject matter. So this quote I want to talk to you about, one of my favorite ones from the entire book, is on page 352. This is in, in the run up the context here, is this is leading up to D-Day. This is the night before, so June 5th, 1944, uh, the day before, or the night before D-Day, and Eisenhower has to do, make a determination whether to launch the attack, the, the famous D-Day attack or not. This is again on page 352. But there was a window of about four, 24 hours when conditions would be tolerable. Again, Eisenhower pulled his commanders, and Moranzi said whatever was decided, the signal had to be flashed to the fleet within the next half hour. He asked Stagg about the seas and the wind velocity and said he was satisfied. Lee Mallory, Lee Mallory and Tedder thought it was quote-unquote chancy. Montgomery said quote-unquote go. After everyone had spoken, Eisenhower sat quietly. Smith remembered the silence lasted for five full minutes. Quote, I never realized before the loneliness and isolation of a commander at a time when such a momentous decision has to be taken, with the full knowledge that failure or success rests on his judgment alone. End quote. When Ike looked up, he was somber but not troubled. Quote, okay, we'll go. Man, just think about that. Think about what that had to have been like. He's got all of these advisors around him. Eisenhower has all these advisors around him, generals. Uh, weather people, all this kind of stuff, and they're trying to determine whether to go with the biggest amphibious invasion in the history of the world, in the biggest war in the history of the world, which would potentially send tens of thousands of soldiers to their deaths if they screw up, if it's the wrong time, this, the invasion is a failure and it could drastically put back uh, any type of success, could even lose them, lose the United States, the Allies, uh, the war, and he's got all this stuff going on in his mind. He's listening to these people, and just think of all that pressure he's got to be under. Just, I just really like that for the, for that uh, reason. Granted, I'm a trial lawyer, so a lot of times the decision comes down to me uh, whether I'm going to call certain witnesses, um, what kind of arguments to make, how to present things. And it comes down to my my decision. Granted, I'm not I'm not on Eisenhower's level with hundreds of thousands of lives at stake, but it's still I can I can kind of um, it's what I look for. I can I can kind of feel what he's going through there. And the second one I wanted to to uh, read to you is from page four hundred six. This is a 
comparison between a German general of Eisenhower's caliber and Eisenhower. During his two years in France, von Rundstedt, who was a, again, very high German general, never carried a weapon, had no bodyguards, and regularly took a two-hour stroll through St. Germain in the city park. An avid gardener, he refused to allow the villa's lawns to be disturbed to build an air raid shelter. Quote, one can be killed just as comfortably in bed as in the cellar, he told his aides. Under Ike, the villa in the Trianon, I apologize if I mispronounced that, Trianon, Trianon Palace Hotel became an armed camp. Not really anything in particular there, although it is kind of a little bit of a stoicism stuff that's going on there with him saying uh, one can be killed just as easily in bed as they can be in an armed camp. But it was mostly just an interesting anecdote, and I liked it for that reason. Again, you can see there's tons here. I got just so much out of it. So what are the pros and cons of this book? Well, one of the cons would be the, its size. I mean, the book itself is probably 700 and, yeah, 700 and, 768 pages. Well, that's the acknowledgments. 750, 760 pages and uh, lots of notes. So it, it, it's a big book. It's going to take you a while to read through it. So that could, could technically be a con. But really, I think it's a pro because... Uh, John Edward Smith just goes through so much detail here, and he, and he really brings out all the interesting anecdotes. It's, and even though it is this big of a book, it's to me it was a page turner. I really love this thing. I, by far, best book in 2014, uh, probably one of the best biographies, biogra biographies, excuse me, that I've read in forever. Really, probably one of my favorite books that I've ever read. Who should read this book? Anybody who is just interested in presidential history, anybody who's interested in World War II history, anybody who's interested in great great individuals, uh, interesting anecdotes from World War II, anybody who's interested in leadership, in making tough decisions, in uh, managing individuals with uh, big egos. I mean, he had to manage Montgomery, Patton, uh, Charles de Gaulle. He had a whole bunch, of, whole bunch of stuff that he had to do with politics, if you're interested in politics. I mean, this is this is quoted as magisterial by the New York Times as a national bestseller, and it's that stuff for a reason. This is phenomenal. I can't I can't say enough good things about it. What would you get out of it? A lot of stuff I've already talked about. So, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please go down below and click the thumbs up button if you like this video. If you found it helpful, that allow other people or help other people know that this is a video that I answer. Good questions about it, and I kind of go into some detail about this book. If you don't like the video, go ahead and click the thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below too. Be more than happy to talk to you about this book. I mean, I love talking about books. I love this book in particular. Any comments or questions, be more than happy to talk about it. And finally, subscribe. I am going to have a lot of video book reviews on the channel. Again, I love I love books. I'm a huge reader. I also have videos on uh, the law, the legal process, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so I would highly recommend you subscribe to come out of your YouTube inbox free of charge. No payment whatsoever. And finally, if you're interested, there is a link down below to Amazon where you can buy this. Um, I, again, I highly recommend it. No problems. You know, I, I love it. You can go down there below. You can find that link. Click it. You go to Amazon. You can buy the book. Um, technically, it's a affiliate link, so I do get a small percentage of whatever you buy, but it's like pennies on the dozens of dollars, so I'm not getting rich off of that by any means. But if you're not interested in me getting a cut out of it, go ahead and just go to Amazon on your own. Type in the web address or Google search or whatever. It really makes no difference to me because I really do love this book a lot. And it doesn't, uh, it doesn't increase the price or anything for you. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I highly recommend this book. Go out and get it. And thanks again. Take care. Bye.